NBC 15 News starts now. Now at six, a devastating fire and a family leaning on each other to get through. A family loses everything in a big fire in downtown Portage. Their home and their business are gone, and tonight they're struggling to move forward. NBC 15's Chris Woodard joins us with more. Uh, John and Lee, it's bad enough for anyone to lose their business, and when you don't even have a place to go home to, it's pretty hard to look for the positive, but that is exactly what this family's doing. Sunday night, a fire rips apart this historic building. Well, we had to pull our interior crews, attack crews out. And with every gallon of water sprayed, yet another assurance, not much inside would make it. You can't fathom how it feels to lose it. Watch for five hours, everything that you've worked so hard your entire life just burn away. Tara Norland lost her home, the apartment upstairs, and her dress and bridal business located in the retail space below. And as if that wasn't bad enough, she had planned to talk to an agent about getting insurance on the building today. It's too late. Now it's just begging and praying and hoping that we can salvage what we can. Here in front of the building, you can see all the debris that has spilled out. This whole pile of stuff is from the stairwell alone. This family is now just hoping that there is something, anything at all, that they can salvage from inside. But if you think this family lost everything, you might not understand them. They have the friends who came by all day with cards and hugs of support. They have a giving community already helping. And most importantly, they have each other, all alive and all healthy. It was coach purses and North Face jackets were everything. And when you realize you have nothing but the dress that I was wearing that day and a pair of flip flops, coach purses don't matter anymore, you know? Yeah. It just matters that my brother's okay. 15-year-old Jordan Lassie was inside the apartment upstairs when the fire started. The whole house was filled with smoke. He tried to use a fire extinguisher to put out the flames, but when the smoke became too much, he ran outside, leaving without even having the shoes on his feet. I'm just glad I'm here. My family's okay and everything. It's a family with nothing left but each other, and that is certainly something. Family, friends, the community, they're all have been very helpful. Now this afternoon, that business owner and family were actually able to get their hands on some of those dresses inside the building and say that they hope, with the help of some dry cleaning, they'll be able to salvage some of them. Chris, 